Hi and welcome to Military Diorama. Today's video is part 5 in the construction of the barn for my Russian diorama. I'll be painting the exterior of the wooden upper structure. I started by priming it black and then I roughed up the edges and the surface of the wood with a wire brush. I did this to remove some of the, the rough edges of the wood and also to make it a little bit tidier and give it some more texture. I also went over some of the exposed wooden areas and damaged the wood to make it look like it had been used and it was a little bit worn. I then reprimed it with Vallejo Black Primer which is 70602 just to give it a nice surface for the next layers of paint. Once it was fully primed, I gave it an overall misting of Vallejo Old Wood, which is 70310. Then I picked out certain panels, lightened the old wood with some Vallejo White, which is 70001, and just highlighted certain little panels to give it a bit of variance. Once I'd done that, I used Vallejo New Wood, which is 70311, to pick out the areas of wood that are protected from the elements along the edges of the roof and also where panels overlap and also some other little panels to give it some more variation. Once I'd finished the airbrushing, I moved on to brush painting and did some detail painting on certain panels to bring out damage in the wood and just to give the panels some variance and make it look more realistic. The paints I used in addition to the new wood and the old wood were chocolate brown which is 70872, uh, IDF sand grey which is 71141, cyanide grey which is 71142, Panzer Racer's Japanese tank through highlight which is 332. The old and new wood were thinned for the airbrushing using Vallejo thinners and then just used on a wet palette for the detail painting. I didn't use the paints in any particular order, I just used what I thought was the right paint at the time for the panel and just wet blended it onto the panels using the darker colours in the damaged areas to bring out the wood grain. Once I was happy with the detail painting, I used some Dealer and Rani black ink as a panel wash to bring out the details in the wood. I'd watered it down a little bit just with water and gave it a very light coat to bring out the details in the wood.
once the ink was dry, I gave it an all over coat or an all over wash of Abteilung 170, which I believe is German grey highlight. Just gave it this to knock back the colours and make it more silvery and look a little bit more worn. Then once that was on, I let it dry for a little bit and did a little bit of detail work on the edges again where the wood isn't as worn from the elements using Abteilung 092, which I believe is sepia, just to give it a little bit of an orangey hue so it looks less damaged and give it a bit more detail. Allowing that to dry, I used some additional oil paints, which were Abteilung again 007 and 035, to detail paint some of the panels again, giving it a bit more depth and a bit more variance. This was just thinned down using Abteilung oilless thinners. Where the, where the panels have been damaged on the edges and with wear and tear, I just darkened the wood on the damaged parts and then highlighted the non-recessed parts of that with the lighter colours to just make it look like it's got damp and corroded. I just slowly worked over the, the entire wooden area doing this process trying to make the panel stand out and not make the entire barn look the same. I've previously painted this using watercolours which didn't work out. Um, I thought it might do but then I thought I'd give it a try anyway. I just reverted to what I know best which is acrylics and oils and I just enjoy this process. I just thought I'd try something new which unfortunately didn't work. It did work for the window whitewash on the tank itself, but then that's a different story. This this was a lot harder to do with the, with the watercolours.
once I'd finished the oil painting, I let the paints dry and gave it an all over coat of satin varnish with a very small amount of cyanide grey, as in probably about 10%, maybe less than 10% cyanide grey, just to give it a unifying coat and to silver or grey up and unify all the colours and make it uh, seal it off ready for a panel liner or a, a dark brown wash to bring out the panel lines again. Well that's all I've managed to get done. Sorry for the delay in the video, it's just taken me quite a long time to paint it and to get this far. I hope you've enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like or subscribing to my channel and any comments are welcome and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.